So in order to complete the Gaiman Upgrade V2 kit, you will need some components. Most of these components are pretty much the same as the V1 kit, with the exception of some push buttons, and in addition you will not need a 16 MHz crystal or uh, 22 picofarad capacitors. However, you will need the following parts. You'll need around 50 of these 5mm straw hat LEDs. They look like this. You'll need roughly 100 of these rectangular 2 by 5 by 7 millimeter LEDs, and these are white. You'll need 4 of these 10 to 22 microfarad electrolytic capacitors, and these could either be 10, 16, 25, or 50 volts, but they have to be electrolytic, uh, these uh, cylindrical type capacitors. You'll need four 0 0.1 microfarad capacitors, and these have to be the ceramic type, the type that kind of looks like this, or maybe they're little small flat discs. And these could either be 10 volts, 16 volts, 25 volts, or 50 volts. The voltage of these capacitors does not matter, along with the electrolytics. It doesn't matter what voltage you use. You could use 10 volts, uh, 0.1, and 25 volt uh, electrolytic capacitors, and it doesn't matter, you can mix and match uh, voltages. You'll need roughly 20 330 ohm resistors. These, these could either be 1 quarter watt or 1 eighth of a watt. The 1 eighth of a watt ones are just a tiny bit smaller, like the ones here. And the quarter watt ones are slightly bigger like this. So these have to be 330 ohms. In the V1 kit, I use 470 ohm resistors. And you could use those instead, but I recommend 330 ohm resistors for the V2 kit. You'll need five 47k ohm resistors, and these could either be quarter watts or eighth of a watt. The wattage doesn't matter. You will need about four feet of this 50 conductor flat ribbon cable. I believe this is 28 American wire gauge, so you need about four feet of this stuff. You also need three of these Max 7219 chips. Uh, it doesn't matter if the writing is a little bit different because uh, the bottom uh, number there is the date code when they were manufactured. So just make sure they are Max 7219. And again, the CNG doesn't really matter as long as they're the, they look like this and they're not uh, surface mount parts. They need to be through hole parts because that's what is used in the kit. You will need three 5mm red LEDs, and they could either be diffused, like they are now, or with a clear lens. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I think the diffused ones look just a little bit better. You will need three 5mm green LEDs, and these could either be diffused, like they are in my hand, or they could be the, um, the clear type with the clear lens but I think the diffused ones look better. Also, if you plan on using diffused uh, red LEDs, you might as well use diffused green LEDs. And the last part you'll need is four of these six millimeter push buttons. And these need to be normally open. And they look like this. And for the first tool, you will need a soldering iron, and uh, I prefer something like a 40 watt iron as opposed to a 35 or 25 watt. But again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just using a higher wattage iron uh, makes it a lot easier and faster to solder for me personally. But it's up to you. You will need wire strippers, and in the tutorial, I use these. You need these uh, wire slash flush cutters to cut the leads on the PCBs. And some scissors would be nice too. As for the consumable supplies, you will need some electrical tape. You will need some double sided tape. And you will need some solder. And I choose to use lead free because it's a little bit less toxic. So yeah. That's all the parts and tools you need.